Welcome to Florida. Yeah! Woo! We finally make it to Florida in an RV. <laughs> We've been to Florida so many times over the years. Tom's never stayed in Florida in an RV. I have way back in the 1980s. Uh, and after that, actually, but my first trip to Florida in an RV was in the 80s with my parents when we went to Disney World and stayed for Wilderness in our pop-up camper. And so, yeah, we're excited to, for him to finally have the experience to be in the RV here and for us to finally be able to check Florida off on places we've stayed. Yeah, we're headed to St. Augustine today. We're going to enjoy some time with friends there at St. Augustine. We're really looking forward to that. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup, so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. Then, we're headed to a bucket list for me. <laughs> that is Fort Wilderness Campground at Disney. I can't wait. I've always wanted to do it. I've done Disney a ton of times. And we've done Disneyland and, and stayed close to Disneyland in, in the RV. But never done Disney World at Fort Wilderness. I haven't. Stacy obviously has, yep. but I'm really looking forward to it. And again, we're going to also be doing that with some great friends yep. and Grammy K. Yay! Yeah. Y'all have been wanting to see Grammy. You'll see her before too long. Yep. So. And it's a beautiful day to travel. The roads have been great. Yes. A few bugs on the windshield, but other than that, it's been a nice travel day. We always enjoy stopping at the state welcome centers when we can, and we've always enjoyed the Florida welcome centers. Yeah, it's probably a little bit different now during these times. Uh, they usually give you orange juice. I'd love to get some orange juice. I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to get any, but we're going to go in, go stretch the legs, and and then we'll head on our way to St. Augustine. Woo. And Star will get to stretch her paws. What do you think, Star? She loves the Welcome Centers too. What about you, Astro? St. Augustine between the old town 
and the Fountain of Youth, which is right next door, you'll find Nombre de Dios Mission. And this is believed to be the where the folks came in, Menendez and his group from Spain came in to begin what is, it, uh, historians in this area believe, America's first colony, believing to predate uh, Christopher Columbus and the pilgrims that we know from Plymouth Rock by several years, several decades actually. They say that they established uh, the uh, chap first chapel here in 1615 and this is believed to be the site of the very first mass held in America. So a lot of history in this area. They still do have a chapel here that was built in the early 1900s, they're currently restoring it. I believe it's the fourth chapel to have existed on this location. These are beautiful grounds, free to park, free to visit, wander around, there's a museum, and just amazing uh, shade and just a nice place to spend an afternoon. Okay, let's see if this works. I need a lot. <laughs> Scott said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's on the hatch. Cheers. 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 That's some good H2O. Feel younger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go do something. <laughs> This behind me is the St. Augustine Lighthouse. We're gonna go take a look. Think about it, Scott. Very cool. Very cool. How exactly. many steps was it? Do you remember? Oh, I don't. I don't. It was a lot. 219 <laughs> steps. 219. Yeah, it was a lot. And I'm not stuck to the wall. And we're. Yeah, you're doing good. We burned some calories. Yeah, we did. It's spinning. Is it? Does it still light up? Every night. Every night. That's a shot, isn't it? They ran the light on oil. This is the oil room where they kept all of the extra oil. And every two and a half hours, every night, the light keeper had to come, fill this bucket, it would weigh about 30 pounds with oil, and carry it all the way up to the top, the 219 steps to refuel the light. They got their exercise. <laughs> 
That's a wrench. <laughs> Welcome to our campsite here at Stagecoach RV Park in St. Augustine, Florida. We came to this park on recommendation of our friends Kat and Larry. Hey guys! And this was a great spot to act as home base for exploring St. Augustine. We're not far from uh, everything in the Old Town uh, and the lighthouse and all of those things, but, but yet it's very quiet out here. Uh, all of the sites, I believe, are pull through 30 and 50 amp full hookup. And uh, yeah, it's just been a really nice park. They do do long-term rentals here as well. And uh, so we've had some overnight folks next to us just one night. We've stayed here a week. They give weekly discounts. Super nice people. We wish we could have done more in the St. Augustine area. But the week just flew by and we were here over Labor Day weekend as part of our stay and then it was crazy in town during then. So we definitely want to come back and see a few more sites uh, including uh, the Castillo de San Marco National Monument is here and it was just a crazy long line every time we went to visit. So maybe on a future trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you'll be around for more adventures. Until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.